Hey guys, I welcome to the channel One Girls View and this is Devika Krishna. In this video, we are going to talk about my monthly expenses here in Australia. So without any further ado, let's get started. to list all the expenses that we have in the month and then i would go in brief to tell you how much is going to cost for each of the expenses so the first expenses the major expenses here in australia for an international student is the rent and the second one is the bills bills includes electricity bill water bill gas bill and wi-fi bill and the third expense is public transport and the other expenses is the groceries and fifth expense i guess yeah fifth expenses is uh, for the cosmetics and you know the saloon visits every month especially for the girls and the fifth expense is obviously the other extra expenses which could be called as miscellaneous expenses. First expense is obviously the rent that's the major expense and i live in a private room and this is a three bedroom flat we all friends together uh, uh, bought this um, apartment on lease and i have a single bedroom and i pay 390 dollars per month for the rent and uh, this varies for other people if they want to uh, rent a single room you know private room with the bathroom private room with the private bathroom private room with kitchen sharing bathroom sharing the rent differs but my case is completely different because we bought this house i mean this flat on lease we all together so the expenses are a little bit less compared to the private room uh, rents here in australia and the second expense i was talking about is the bills uh, I live in an apartment where the major bills come under electricity because we have induction as well. So we don't have gas bill and the water bill and Wi-Fi bill. Uh, water bill, Wi-Fi bill and uh, electricity bill all would come around uh, 100 or 150 dollars it depends uh, on how much we use usually in winters it's more because we all will be using heaters in each and every room including the living area so the electricity will be more in the winter compared to in the summer and uh, usually here we have a plans of uh, uh, three uh, I mean we pay the bill once in three months or we can pay it every month but we have electricity bill three months once so for every three month uh, each person would get on, get around 200 or 250 electricity and Wi-Fi bill every month uh, we have to pay um, Seventy dollars for the Wi-Fi per month, and we split it around. That would uh, come around fourteen or fifteen dollars, if I'm not wrong. And that's the bill we pay. And when it comes to water bill, it could be around thirty dollars or forty dollars, or you know, so let's round it up for fifty dollars for three months. That's my bills. And the third expense is public transport. I don't have a car, but I'm intending to buy a car because I've applied for driving license and now I'm on learners. I don't have Indian license, but I'm gonna be doing another video. How did I get uh, my driver license here in Australia? Maybe in future. Yeah. I don't have any car at the moment but i use public transport for the public transport here we've got weekly pass monthly pass and i take monthly pass uh, that comes around 151 dollars yeah that's pretty much it and uh, the expense is the groceries uh, groceries would come around uh, 40 or 50 a month because we all share and with me I buy nutrition from outside and that would cost around 200 or 250 per month it's a little bit expensive I know but I take nutrition because uh, I want nutrition to my body because I have so much uh, uh, deficiency of iron vitamin D after coming to Australia so I'm taking nutrition now so that goes under my expenses that's the plus one actually and the other expenses i was talking about is uh, the cosmetics i buy a lot i'm telling you know not actually the skincare things 
uh, including everything you know if i go to chemist i find something you know let's say a uh, facial hair removal razor lipstick eyeliners nail polishes and i don't wear foundation even now i'm wearing bb cream it's not foundation and um, body lotions shampoos everything you know a month it would come around hundred dollars for the cosmetics and if i am doing saloon visits at the moment there's not uh, that much of expense because there's lockdown there's no point of uh, uh, even thinking about going to saloon in lockdown because everything is closed including hairdressing um if let's say if i want to go to saloon every month it would cost me around 100 bucks you know uh hands for uh waxing leg waxing underarms and i don't get usually clean ups facials in here because it's quite expensive i do it myself if i feel like i want to do it and uh, yeah that's pretty much it it would come around 100 dollars if there is a an option to go to saloon every month i used to go but not now and the last expenses is the miscellaneous expense let's say i go outside and i feel like having something in the restaurants that goes under miscellaneous and um, if i feel like uh, mm, buying something i uh, know i'll go i'll just straight away go and um, buy that stuff and also there's one more thing that comes under my expenses is online shopping with this lockdown i've been so obsessed with doing online shopping every two months i'm spending around 300 dollars uh, on online shopping especially shane i'm loving shane uh, clothes and the earrings and the top that i'm wearing is also from shane hope you guys can see it it's a beautiful shop and the earring as well awesome right i'm loving the <laughs> everything in shane so that's pretty much it guys that's my monthly expenses here in australia it would come around 1500 dollars and uh, that would be equal to 70 or eighty thousand a month i know i know what you guys are thinking it's expensive yes in australia cost of living is a little bit high compared to other countries but you but you guys also should know the pay rate in other countries are also less so the living expenses are less here the pay rate is a little bit higher when compared to all the countries and yeah that's pretty much it guys thank you so much for uh, uh subscribing to my channel and also please subscribe to my channel if you guys are watching without subscribing it and share it with your friends and with lots of love i'm signing this video off and i'll see you guys in my next video you can also follow me on my instagram the link is in uh, the de description and also you know it's always devika underscore krishna double a at the end i love you so 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 much guys